Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. champion a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away now the fight is here we'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the octagon has ever seen our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight more than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach. All right, we send it back inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 20 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Mechakala, Russia, presenting the challenger, Amari Lekak Akhmedov. And now introducing the champion, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, with a professional record of 16 wins, four losses, one draw, and one no contest. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. So. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. I mean, these guys are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Nice kick with the right hand. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball who becomes twice his size. This guy today is looking at focus in his opponent. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. 
All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage, it's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going tonight. He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length to give his opponent problem, trying to bring the fight into a closer distance. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing. Knee strike there, interrupted by Ahmed. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Straight punch lands. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, nice job there to land the knee strike to the body again, making great use of his length in this matchup. Left-right combo is good. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Right hand punch from the clinch. Whips on the straight right hand. Well, there's a takedown attempt. No surprise that he would go for it there, but unable to get the fight to the ground. Whenever your opponent knows that you're going to try to take it out, you have to disguise it. He did not disguise it. He tried to shoot a blind shot. He got defended as you would expect it to. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Single collar tie now. Oh! Big elbow! Stuffs the takedown, no problem. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Try to establish that jab. Oh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking. He's rolling and slipping. He's doing a great job. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Akhmedov gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Oh, big punch land. Just a slip there. He's back to the clinch position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Nice kick with the right hand. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Single collar tie. Oh, nice punch there by Akhmeta. Right at the elbow. Second round, straight ahead. Well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take their turn. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. 
and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Nice. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Nice double leg takedown. All right, so a near perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say if at first you don't succeed. Try, try again, he's able to get him down. Persistence pays, and that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot the takedown, he tried to mix it up, and he got defended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top control? Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. He's gonna tag armbar here. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. And this might just be a matter of time. There it is. So he taps out oh, due oh, to the arm bar man. tonight. High level grappling there. I mean, he had to tap. If he did not tap, this man is not opposed to snapping his arm. Right. Sometimes it's better to live the fight another day, but hats off to this fighter on a great submission victory. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So what a moment for the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world getting it done tonight and with style points as he submits his opponent to win the UFC title. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 41 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out. And still! So heavyweight title retained is the headline inside this arena here tonight. Congratulations to the still heavyweight champ. Uh, once again, proven he's the elite among the elite. In a division where everything can change in a second, this guy has brought consistency.